So in dunking, if we're doing a left-right approach, that would usually come with a slight curve to the left, right? And then a left-right plant where we're turning to the left at the end, okay? Uh, so in basketball, that approach would occur if we're driving to the right, okay? So yeah, if I'm beating a defender here, driving to the right, I would go in like that. And that would be basically my ideal left-right approach to jump high. However, basketball has defenders, okay? So when I do this, when I do my ideal dunking approach, uh, what am I doing at the end here? I'm turning back. Now that defender I just beat is going to be on my left side. So if I turn back like this, I'm completely exposing the ball to getting stolen, okay? Also, if a help defender comes across, if I'm squaring up to the hoop like this, I'm just putting the ball right in front of the defense, okay? So I'm going to get stripped or I'm going to get blocked on the way up, okay? So I'd actually have to turn all the way like this to put my body into this defender, but then of course I'm, again, even more so exposing the ball to the defender I just beat, okay? So this scenario that I just showed, it could happen, right? If you completely leave your defender and nobody comes over on the help, maybe you can do that, right? Anything can happen in basketball. More realistically, in basketball, if I'm gonna be a good uh, finisher at the hoop and maybe dunk on some people, I'm gonna have to protect the ball, okay? So after I drive right, what I'm gonna do is go into sliding, where I'm positioned like this, keeping that defender uh, on my hip here and having the ball here, okay? So I'm gonna slide towards the hoop, and then when I get there, I have my shoulder in position to uh, shield the ball from a help defender as well, okay? So I can shield the ball from the defender here and the help defender. All right, so if I put this all together, it'll look like this. So not only am I protecting the ball, I'm also getting to the hoop faster. Um, if I'm going from a stop here, this is only four steps, right? One, two, three, four, okay? On that other plant, I have to do either two dribbles or delayed pickup, and I have to do five steps, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that will take longer every time, I guarantee it. All right, so we're getting to the rim quicker and we're shielding the ball when we use the sliding action, okay? So you notice I'm doing a approach that's ideal for a left-right plant, but at the end, I'm doing a right-left plant, okay? And that's just the reality of basketball. You don't always get to do ideal approaches. So Kawhi Leonard just did this to the Celtics uh, recently. You see that he slides to the hoop and then he leads with his left shoulder into the defender and dunks on him. So if you want to be a good in-game finisher at the rim, uh, that's going to go way beyond just learning your four jump plants, right? Like single leg off either leg and then right left and left right. Uh, learning the four plants is only scratching the surface of what you want to be able to do for a basketball. All right, so then just one more example. I'm on the left side now, so I'm going to be driving left. So this would normally set me up for a right left plant, okay? Which again, that could happen. Uh, but I'm going to demonstrate the sliding to the hoop, protecting the ball and getting to the rim quick. So I'll do it off a dribble move on this one. 